In this video, we are going to learn radio button in ASP.NET MVC. Before we are going to start, I would like to ask you a favor. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe my channel. Let's start. In MVC, there is a no server side control. For control creation, this is in a HTML helper which help to create control. First, uh, we need to understand what is radio button. Radio button is a kind of a toggle control which receive the input from a user in the form click. In radio button, all buttons are connected with the same group, name and ID. Just take example, three way we can define the radio button. Just open that index.html. First way is that your HTML helper is the radio button. First one is the radio button form. This is that is a strongly type. For you need to create going to create that one models, just right click add one class. That class name I'm going to write like a contact model. Okay, here I'm going to write like a string first name. Second one is that your last name. And third one I'm going to add gender. So that gender will be that male and female. So here what just call this one in the view that add the reference and here it will be that model model down your gender. The next one I am going to write the value. First one is male. Same, I am going to use make a breakpoint and this one for female. If you will run the application, I just mention the name. You have to add the value here is the male and then is the female it's like a kind of a toggle if you look here it's come male and female once you click only one can be active at one times click this one you see okay the next one is that or another way is that you have to write like HTML dot radio button. So this one is a not a strongly type. So here I'm going to write like a gender or that this one will be the male. And also here we can write male. And next one, just copy this one, make a breakpoint, and also this one here. Here we can write like a female. And this one also it will be the female okay it will also work the same like this just reload see why it's coming like that because that name both the name of both are all are same that's why it's a it's coming as a one group so if you make a change here gender one copy this one this one is a gender one Just copy now reload again with the help of a name and id it will be done in one group just like if you click here mail see the toggle if id and name will be same then it will be the in one group let's see the another one that is the input type it's a radio that value i'm going to make as a this one is a mail but id i'm going to make a same id is equal to i'm going to write like a 
i g d e r i gender the next one is that female female and name this one make a i gender same one we took up here and paste it here now here i'm going to write like a male and this one is that female just copy and reload save and reload now you can see see it's also same like a toggle but if you want to select by default it will be female so how you will do that one for this uh, html so you have to write like a if you want to select the female default should be select so make in new at the rate checked equal to true just reload see it's a checked by default it's a check now and for another one also it's like that for another one this one i want to check this mail so mail should be check default just save and reload again so for this one this group it's female should be selected and this one for male should be selected see now it's male should be it's a selected male now let's see if you have a collection just like uh, if you have uh, multiple country only one you can select so how you can do just close this one i remove all those radio button here from here now i'm going to create one control this model right click add one class that is a model it will be that country model country model in the country model i'm going to add properties first one is that your country id second one is that your country name and third one by default is selected okay so now i'm going to add some dummy data in that so it will be the list of country model list of country model to new list of country model now need to add some dummy data country add is equal to one tree name is equal to India and it's selected false. This one should be Boolean. Here I have added some dummy data. Let's see, and this one should be written. But one th more thing we can do here. We can add one more class. Or here we can write like a not country model. Another one will be I'm going to create that class that is your country. In the country there is a one properties that is for country. Another one I'm going to add that is a list of your country model. This one is the country name I'm going to write. Country name and this one is that list of country. Okay, so this country I'm going to use 
I'm going to return here just like your country equal to new country obj country equal to new country and this obj country dot your list of country is this and this one I'm going to return here now open that index open the index here it will be that your country first of all need to make a for loop here for each that is where that item in your model dot your list of country and the list of country going to write like html helper dot radio button for your model model dash model dot your country name the next one is that your name that is a item dot sorry item dot your country name and here also need to write like a country name make a breakpoint now run the application you can see that all those country name is here but here I have mentioned that one name that's name is same your ID is same so that's why it's in this all are in one group only one can select okay now now here you can see that in that home control some dummy data there is a USA is selected so how we can check that one we will do that one if, make a if condition here if that your item dot is selected expected to yeah. item dot is selected so this one we can make a true so how we can make it true we can make like a new your HTML attribute here I'm going to write like a selected checked to true equal to true the next one otherwise it will be the false default it will be the false so make a false also remove this one this one is not required ok now save the uh, run the application you can see here that USA is selected so what I have done we just checking that one if that uh, is particular that country is selected so here we are checking that one new check this one is selected the so making that one this one checked is equal to true otherwise all are default so only that uh, here that USA is that is selected is will be true so other are false now we can change this one though. Now going to create, uh, create one button here. So for the submit, so input type that is a submit button. The name is going to save and uh, value also is going to make a save and class make a button button dash danger I'm going to put this one into that our helper class that HTML helper make a using so it will be the HTML helper dot begin form so that one first one in the, is that action name index then another one that 
home then form method should be post just paste it here okay now I'm going to create one action method this one will be the post this one return post and only that uh, return that content content here that I found but here to write that name this value should be your this name your country that will should be country name just paste it here country name paste it here so now run the application okay once you have started the south africa click on save see here yeah, that south africa is coming Another one, if you click on page China, click on see, go to China. And once you select the India, that will click on see, you will get that India. Okay. Another one is that uh, you can use that particular class, just like a country class. Okay. So here you can write like an object country. So how you will get the name? Just you have to go to that country and that name. If you will run the application again you will get the same result so click on uh, Nepal click on see so you are getting that same one Nepal India uh, India we are getting that India. Let's close. Now we will check with a JavaScript. Now we already checked with that, that controller. Now we will check JavaScript. Just write this JavaScript here and uh, write the code. The script type is equal to your JavaScript. Now I'm going to write like a document.ready function. Document dot ready function. So now I'm going to click. So click there because there is a no ID here. Okay, so what will do that one? We will write your input input type type equal to radio dot click so function. Function your alert dollar this dot value. Mm -hmm. Now, if you run the application. Now if you click on India, let's see, you are getting that India. If you select on South Africa, you get the South Africa. If you selected the England, select the, you got getting the value of England. Just what we have done for the, we are checking that for input type is the radio button. Dot click, because all are the radio button here. If it's the radio button, once you're going to click, so that particular, this dot value means where you clicked that particular value you will get in the alert box i hope it's a clear thanks for watching